Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about seven max settings you should turn off immediately. Before we dive in, we just want to say that we're trying to grow. A couple ways you can help us out are by subscribing to this channel and sharing this video with your friends. So. Let's talk about Mac settings you need to turn off. So on your Mac, we're gonna go up to the Apple menu in the upper left-hand corner of the screen and just tap System Preferences. So the first thing we're gonna turn off are unnecessary login items that might slow your Mac down. Mm -hmm. These are background programs that run, and a lot of the times they get installed when you install new software. And a lot of them will just slow things down because you never use them and you might not even know that they're running. So to do that, tap Users and Groups and System Preferences, and then just tap Login Items. And on my computer, I can see that I have six of these. So back up and sync from Google. I wanna hide that one, but I do want it to be there. A text, spectacle, both great pieces of software. But this Zoom opener is a video chat app, but I don't use Zoom anymore. So what I can do is just tap this minus sign here and it's gone. And so now Zoom opener is never gonna be running in the background of my Mac. I recommend hitting the minus button next to any of the applications you see in this list that you don't recognize. The next time you reboot your Mac, it might be a little bit faster. So our next tip is to disable any unnecessary apps that are tracking your location wherever you go. So let's go back to the main system preferences window and tap security and privacy. Just like the GPS functionality on your iPhone uses a lot of battery life, same deal with your Mac. It might not have a GPS chip built in, but if it's constantly asking, where am I, where am I, where am I? It's gonna drain your battery faster. And a lot of apps don't need to know where you are all the time. So this is one of those settings. Make sure that you have privacy selected over here on the right, where you have to click the lock to get access. If you don't have a Mac with Touch ID, you have to enter your password here. And this is your Mac password, which may or may not be the same as your Apple ID. I'm just gonna use the Touch ID here. And I do wanna leave enable location services turned on because location services are great for a lot of apps, but this Kizmac app does not need to know where I am. And any of these where you see an arrow next to them means that it has used your location and also your battery within the last 24 hours. So I don't need Siri to know where I am. I'll leave the weather app on because sometimes I like to check the weather and it's cool if it knows where I am. Mm -hmm. Maps, I don't use Mac Maps. So you get the idea, just go through this list and uncheck the ones that don't need to have access to your location all the time. Yep, the next thing we're gonna do is turn off those unnecessary system services that are always running and those can drain your battery life too. Yeah, these are the insidious ones. So you have to go all the way to the bottom of this menu and then click details on the right. And here we have location-based suggestions, time zone and system customization. If you're traveling between time zones a lot, you might wanna leave this on. But what I do is I just leave this off and then when I go to a new time zone, I check the box, it changes the time, and then I uncheck the box. It doesn't need to always be checking what time zone I'm in. Significant locations, kind of creepy, tracks you everywhere you go. Location-based Apple ads, no thanks. Find My Mac is the only one I'm gonna leave on because I wanna be able to find my Mac if it gets lost. And I'll just uncheck HomeKit and Wi-Fi networking. Wi-Fi networking is still gonna work. HomeKit, still gonna work, except for the location tracking piece. So next we're gonna turn off Mac analytics, just like on your iPhone, uh, Apple gathers data about how you use your iPhone and they use that to improve their products. We still believe that Apple can improve their own products on their own. Yep. Uh, we're not gonna send them our analytics data, it can drain your battery. So on the left-hand side of this window, just scroll down until you find analytics. Click on that and then uncheck share Mac analytics and that will automatically uncheck share with app developers and also share iCloud analytics. There you go. Yep. We're gonna save some battery life. So our next setting, you actually have to turn this on to turn it off. We're gonna turn on limit ad tracking. Uh, obviously we don't want advertisers to track us everywhere we go, mm -hmm. um, collect all that data about us. We're just gonna turn limit ad tracking on. Boom, turned on. And then you can also click reset advertising identifier. Are you sure you want to reset the, as if this is a bad thing. Now the ads that you'll see in Apple apps and also on the internet won't be as targeted to you specifically. The less data they have on us, the better. Trust yep. me, they still have more than enough data on us to send us ads, even with this turned on. Yep, so our next tip is to turn off unnecessary notifications. Mm -hmm. Notifications are those things that appear in the upper right-hand corner of your Mac all the time. They can be kind of annoying and they also could drain your battery life a little bit. So let's go back to the main system preferences window and tap notifications over here on the right. Just take a look through this list and ask yourself, do I really wanna get these pop-up notifications from this app? So the books app, I don't need notifications from. Calendar is a yes for me because I wanna know if I have an event. FaceTime is a yes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
Go through the list. If you don't recognize an app, turn it off. Yep, so our next tip, now that we've turned off unnecessary notifications, we're gonna turn off unnecessary extensions. I'm gonna tap back to the main system preferences window and head to extensions. Extensions are little pieces of software that work with applications that you install on your Mac to give them special access and permissions to the files on your Mac or other services, but sometimes it's not good to have these turned on because little things can crop up, little problems. So go through here, Evernote for instance. I don't need this to have any access to Quick Look, which is what happens when you click on a file and you hit the space bar, it brings that. I don't need Evernote to be able to see that, so I'm just gonna uncheck that. Sketch, photos editing. I don't need that to be happening. So just uncheck anything here that you don't think needs to have access to the files or the Finder app on your Mac. So those are seven Mac settings that you should turn off immediately. Now that you've done this, we recommend rebooting your Mac just to make sure that these settings take effect. You can just do that by hovering over the Apple, clicking restart. Your Mac will reboot, you'll be all set. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below if you have any other Mac questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great Apple videos.